So we're in Talitsai, Nun's village. We borrowed Kui's car and we're out here because it's time to dry rice with all the other locals. But he's got the rice all laid out. Apparently this is our rice right here. So now I guess we gotta get to work, spread it out and dry it. So it took about an hour, but We've got it pretty much all spread out now. How's that look, darling? Oh, good. Look like good rice? Yeah, good rice, yeah, but not have much. Not have much? 50%. Yeah? How, is this all the rice or is there still more on the no, field? Still have half. Still have half. half. I think more 30% plus. Yeah? Well, we'll see over time. Anyway, there's where we're at. It's all spread out. Gonna let it dry for a while. Gonna get some lunch. Think I need some sunscreen. I'm not quite like the Thai people who dress up in two, three layers, head to toe. But if you look at the other people, how they've got theirs done. As it dries, they seem to put it into rows and piles. So I'm assuming we will work on that and I'm not sure how long it takes but we'll figure it out. We need to buy a tarp in case it rains tonight to be able to cover it so we don't have to pick it all up. Need to do that. We'll buy some sunscreen and get some lunch and we'll come back again. Maybe we'll set up the camera later, we're not sure. And it's the end of day one of drying rice for us, for a lot of the other people. You see all the bags here. These people finished either two or three days, depending on what they felt they needed. But it might have rained tonight, so can't take a chance. Where's your rice? This my rice. That's your rice? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mui? 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 No, 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 Kang Lang. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kang Lang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go home tonight, my wife. Oh, maybe I should. You want me to take that out of the video? Yeah. So. Our rice was on two separate mats overlapping here. We're obviously not dry enough. Um, possibility of rain, but regardless, can't take the chance. So we bought a couple of tarps today, seven feet wide, I think, or six feet by 30 meters. So we separated into two long piles here and we've got them covered searched around for some stones to hold them down. Hopefully we don't get storms tonight, but it says there's a possibility of thunder showers between 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., so we'll know later on. We've done the best we can with it, so we'll leave it there and we'll come back tomorrow, spread it back out and dry it for another day and see if that's enough. Well, we got the race uncovered. How's it look this morning? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, no rain last night, which is nice. A lot of dew on it, so now get it spread out in the sun and get drying it some more. It is 1.30 in the afternoon on day two of drying the rice. It is 32 degrees and very sunny very warm. I think I'm getting a little bit of a pinkish hue to my skin. A little more sunscreen and another shirt probably. What we've been doing is raking it side to side like this 
and then an hour later raking it lengthwise so it looks like this guy's rice so looking at it and having raked it the last three times it appears as though there's not much that is wet or sort of not dry at this point so we'll rake it a few more times probably till around probably till around four o'clock or so or 4 30 and then we will uh i think we will probably bag it and pack it up so rake it again so far it's coming along nice okay now start honey Okay. Yeah. Day number three. This is number three day. Number three day. We finished today? <laughs> yeah, I think finished today. 11 o'clock is a pick up. Okay. Yeah. Make it nice and smooth. Oh yeah, number one for long working in the farm. <laughs> yeah, for your cook. This is okay, yeah. Leave it now? Yeah, leave it now. The 11 o'clock it come to pick up. Okay. You want to... Get, get yeah. You want to take video really a little bit over there? Sure, I'll take a little. Here yeah, you, you walk. Okay. We're kind of all spread out for the day. You may be wondering why we're doing day three when... Yesterday, I said we were getting ready to bag it. Was getting ready to bag it until the locals informed me that uh, the foreign white guy didn't know how to dry rice and it wasn't ready. So, covered it up, same as we did the night before, and put it out again this morning. According to the locals now, we should be able to take it off around lunchtime today. So, as you can see, the, it's the main square in the village. So here we are, bagging rice again. This is the other half of the rice from Noon's Field. We had two long tarps plus a small one. So this time it appears as though we may have more than 50 bags again. We're not sure. Noon, of course, is working way hard, and we have a special guest from Canada. Jan, say hello, Jan. Hello, Jan. Jan, yeah, yes, and she told us she wanted to learn about Thai life, so we thought, okay, <laughs> fine. Let's drag her out here to the farm and make her, make, make her bag rice. So, so far, it seems to be okay. It's, this is her first trip to Thailand, and possibly her last. We're not sure, but uh, we'll wait and see. She says if she gets... It's a hard job, but yeah, she says if she gets beer later, she's okay. Okay, well, there's definitely beer for later, so we'll so we'll keep at her and we'll uh, let you know how many beer. True Canadian work for beer, yeah. Okay, so we'll see. You, let you know how we make out later. Well, the first mat is complete, all done and bagged. Turned out to be 19 bags. Uh, it's getting later in the day. It's supposed to rain, so we've decided to Not really me, but the decisions made to do it all We did the small mat that was on the left side and got one two three four five five bags out of it. I believe <laughs> Got extra help now it's going pretty good Jan hasn't walked out on us yet, so we're She's still loving the Thai experience, or at least saying she is, so it's not bad. So I'm not sure we're going to get 50 bags, but it'll be close. I'm going to finish it all off today, so we'll get back at it and check with you when it's done. Okay. 
Okay, we're done. This is, counted it up, another 30, 39 bags. So when we put that together with the 52 we did last weekend, or 53, that leaves us with 92 bags of rice this year. Much better than we thought. We thought we were going to end up around 70, so we're quite, quite pleased with that. Just tidying up the last bit. No one is rolling up the last tarp to put it away. Got one put away already. Other mats are out here for her brother to use later. And then last but not least, we have the, uh, we have the chickens to uh, clean up the last remnants of rice that got away on us. So they will do the final cleanup. So, so with that, we're gonna leave it there. If you like this video about drying rice and clean rice from the farm, give us a like and don't hesitate to comment. And if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. And with that, we'll leave it there and catch you on the next video. So we'll check with Jan Ellen Hillary here, the Mount Everest climber. And do you still like Thailand? Love it. Love it? Love it. Okay, so we figure this is either her first trip to Thailand, first of many, or her last trip to Thailand. So we'll see if she's telling us a lie or not. Okay. What do you think from this year's rice, darling? Huh? What do you think about this year's rice? I don't know how many bags. 92 altogether. 92 altogether. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. You're all right? Yes, yeah, the bad year. Okay. It's not a bad year? Okay. It's a bad year, but okay. It's a bad year, but okay. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you on the next okay. video.